race. Five games into the 2014 season, Notre Dame was third in the country in scoring defense under aggressive first-year coordinator Brian Van Gorder. Five games later, the Irish seemed lost in last night's overtime upset and have reached historic lows on that side of the ball. The Irish gave up 43 points and 547 yards to a previously anemic Northwestern offense. Over the last five games, Notre Dame has now given up 211 points. That is the most ever in a five-game stretch in program history. Obviously playing a lot of young guys that... Um you know, are, are struggling, and, and they're, they're doing their best, but, you know, too many young guys on the field. I think it's our focus. We need to start focusing a lot more, you know. Um, we need to zoom focus into our responsibilities, really, and a lot of it goes to film study, you know, figuring out what's going to come your way. Once you get that down, I feel like you'll be fine. they got to spend a little bit more time learning the game in the film room with some of the veteran guys, and we're going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure we do that this week. Um, I'm taking that personally on myself, so if that happens, if there's any more mistakes in the future, you can blame me for those. There you have it. Well, Kelly also updated us on a few other injuries coming out of the NU game. D-lineman Sheldon Day and Daniel Cage both have knee sprains, and they will undergo MRIs to determine the severity of those. Everett Golson suffered a shoulder sprain during the loss, though Kelly said that Golson felt like he could throw today if he had to. Up next for the Irish is a Louisville team averaging 31.5 points per game, though the Cardinals did lose their starting quarterback, Will Gardner, to a knee injury during their last game. 